hi guys this is Umair back with another video and in this video I'm gonna cover again an important UWP topic and that is drag drop you can see that I have run my application and right now I'm just give you a demo that what I'm gonna develop in this uh, tutorial and what you are gonna learn so in this application this is an image and on the this whitish area I have two image element inside it the top image element and the bottom image element which you can't see right here because I haven't added the source of images right here in these uh, but uh, what I want to do is this bottom area contains an image element that is used to uh, drag and drop any particular image inside this area and I'm gonna click on this image and drag this image and drop it on this particular area so that uh, we may able to learn that how to drop any particular element uh, from within the application and drop it within the application so in this this is the image but you can do it with other elements as well so image let's click on it drop it right here so you can see from within the application I have dragged this image and drop it on another image element the both the image ele elements should be of same type because this is the image and the target element should be image for it to contain the image element all right and we have another uh, image element right here which haven't as yet to be set its source so I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to drag something from outside the application like this is the directory of my system in my window all right and I have another image open so I can drag any image from these or any other image uh, so let's click on it and drag and drop it right here so you can see I have dragged this image from my system from the directory and drop it in my running application so this is a very uh, interesting and important topic and you will learn so many important things in this tutorial so let's get started so I have created an empty UWP project in my Visual Studio and I have named this project drag drop and I have opened the file main page I hope that uh, you have already have some experience uh, in XAML uh, if you don't have please check out my other UWP tutorial videos for uh, getting better understanding of this XAML so first of all inside my grid element I need to write few XAML code and I need to add uh, some uh, elements inside it for the source of my image and for the target of my image I will drag images from uh, the system to the app and within the app okay so let's get started inside my grid element I will come inside it and I will start with a stack panel so I will write stack panel and for the properties of my stack panel I will first set the orientation to horizontal alright the next property is horizontal alignment has to be center and vertical alignment has to be center as well alright so inside my stack panel I need to add another stack panel alright uh, and once it done uh, you will see that why I'm doing this thing you can design your UI as you want but uh, it, it's just for illustration of drag and drop functionality in UWP so let's write stack panel and I will set its orientation to vertical and its next property is background and that is allies blue and we have the margin so let's set to 20 and after that uh, we need to set horizontal and vertical alignment horizontal alignment center and vertical alignment to center as well and there are few other properties that we need to set uh, we need to uh, learn about different drag and drop properties that we can set onto stack panel or any other elements the container elements it's a stack panel we can have other container elements uh, like parent elements that we can uh, use for drag and drop so first one is the drop property the drop property event is used inside the control which we want to use it for dropping other items inside it and it is called when you finished dropping something alright 
uh, another and the second property that I'm gonna use is drag over this is an event which is called when you are about to drop an item inside the target element all right so inside my stack panel I need to add uh, other properties as well so let's write first let's add allow drop property this is used that this tag panel is allowed to drop something onto it all right so i need to give it true all right and the second property i want to add is the drag over and i need to press enter for creating my new event in my backend file in my main page.xaml.cs file <clears throat> all right so let's add the double and i'll press enter uh, and it's gonna create a new event at the main page.xaml.cs file if i click on it you can see that this tag panel underscore drag over event has been created in the backend file of this main page.xaml all right and the next property that i need to use is the drop so this is the drop and we need to press enter to it as well so i will press this and i'll go to my main page.xaml.cs you can see that uh, our both events are created onto this stack panel all right so let's close this stack panel and come inside the inner stack panel all right and inside this stack panel i'm gonna create two image elements the first image element will be used to uh, drop something from outside our app we can drop some image we can uh, so we are using our image element so we can only drop image element if we need to drop any other uh, any other file uh, from the system into our application we can use the file element okay so i'm just gonna use the image and i'm gonna give it a name image one all right and the next property is the margin that is 10 the third property is height that is 300 the fourth property is width that is 300 as well all right let's close this image element and i'm going to copy this image element including its properties and i'm going to paste it right here all right i'm going to change its name and the rest of properties will remain same all right so now let's come outside this inner stack panel and i will create another image element and i'm going to name it source image and this is the image that will be on the right side of our application because this is inside our outer stack panel all right and this image we will use to drag this image into our this image all right this image is not being set to any source all right and i'm going to give the some source to this image element all right and this image will be then used to drag from this uh, its own position to this position all right because the container uh, or the target element should be same as the source element all right so next thing is the margin 20 and horizontal alignment center and vertical alignment center as well we need to give it a width let's say it's 200 and height is 200 as well and we need to set another property to it uh, we have set some properties right here that this can be used to drop something onto it so it contains two images all right and this image uh, should be draggable all right and i need to give it a property called can drag and i need to give it a value true all right so let's close this image element all right and now we need to give it some source to this image so that uh, we should see something inside this image and when we'll drop this image it should be dropped on this particular image all right so let's add a particular image into our solution explorer 
so I will go to my solution explorer and I have already added this b1.png image I'm gonna use the same image that I used in my XAML data template binding uh, course or uh, tutorial so you can add it inside the assets folder just right click it add an existing item and select any particular image from your directory all right so now I need to set the source right here so I will go and set the source okay and I'm going to go to assets slash b1.png all right on the left side you can see that our image has been added as a source property of this image element all right so this is all we needed to do inside XAML now we need to go to our main page.xaml.cs and we need to write some code in order to uh, that drag and drop functionality to work all right so inside our drag over event we need to write few properties inside it and this is uh, an object that contains all the uh, properties of the drag over event so i'm going to use e dot accepted operation equals to data uh, that is data package operation dot copy all right uh, just complete it otherwise you need it to uh, import this much package at the top next thing that I need to do is e dot drag UI override dot caption and for the caption let's add copy e dot drag override dot is caption visible and caption visible is true and then I need to write e dot drag UI override dot is content visible and the last one is is glimpse visible or not so I'm gonna write e dot drag UI override is glimpse visible equals to true all right so uh, that's been done now one thing more that we needed to do right here uh, first I'll show you the drag drop functionality of our third image uh, which is used to uh, set the second target image control uh, so that we needed to drop that image into our image 2 right here all right uh, not from the system but within our application so inside our drop event I needed to write and set the source of my image so I need to set image to dot source equals to source image dot source all right so I have set its source because I needed to add it in my drop uh, event because this event is used uh, that uh, is when we any when we drag anything from uh, outside the app or uh, within the application then this drop event will fire whenever we will leave our image onto that particular element all right so I'm gonna save it and let's run this application by clicking on this so our application has been started I have forgotten to add the color right here but we have empty two image element on the left side of this book one image so I'm going to click on this image and I'm going to drag it right here. You can see that this is the glimpse, uh, the copy, and I'm going to leave it. So you can see that I have picked up an image from here and I have dragged it onto image two element. So this is how we drag something from within the application and drop it to another same element. Now we need to write some code for adding the functionality of dragging an image from the system and drop it in my image one element all right and for that first of all let me change the color of my background so let's add a gray color all right so that we may be able to see the uh, target images clearly okay so now let's save it and i'm gonna go to mainpage.xaml.cs and just below this line i'm gonna write some code so 
I need to first check if e dot data view dot contains standard data formats dot storage items. All right, just uh, hover on it and I need to click on this drop down and need to, need to import this package. All right, you can see that this package has been added this one. Okay, so inside my if condition, uh, I need to define a image variable. So I will write var images equals to await e dot data view dot get storage item async and this is the function all right and inside it i need to add another if condition and i need to write if any so inside my inner if condition uh, i need to get an image the first image from my storage file and this is to check this first if is check that if we are dragging something from outside whether it's uh, a storage item or not whether it's a file or an image and inside it I need to get that uh, uh, storage item asynchronously all right uh, and inside it I am checking that if I'm dragging something whether uh, it contains something or not uh, I'm just uh, clicking um, just randomly onto my uh, system and just uh, uh, bringing up my cursor onto that image element all right and this is used to uh, get and detect that if that is an element actually or not so inside my if element condition I'm going to write var storage file equals to images I need to get first image and that is of type storage file all right that is a class so should start with the capital S just hover it and click on it make the containing scope async actually I need to make this function async so let's come right here and I'm gonna write a sync okay so you can see that error has gone so I need to also bring up this windows dot storage package in order to get rid of this error as well all right and just below this line I need to write var bitmap image equals to new bitmap image all right just hover it and I need to uh, bring up another package so let's click on it so below this one I need to set the source of this particular image to my image one element all right I'm using image two for the uh, storage of this particular image within the application and this image one will be will be used uh, for dragging something onto it from outside the application so inside it uh, I need to write bitmap image dot set source await storage file dot open async and I need to give it a parameter file access mod dot read all right and I, after that I need to set the source of this bitmap to my image one source so I need to call the and image one dot source property and I need to give it a value a bitmap image all right so we are done with it and now let's run our application let's save this one first make sure you don't forget to save our application so let's run our application and we are going to check the drag and drop functionality within the application and outside the application all right so this is the area of first image and this is the area of the second image the second image is used to drag item from within the application 
Uh, so let's drag this one from here and drop it right here. All right. I've decreased the size of my screen because that's why some uh, portion of this image has gone down. All right. But I have just uh, decreased its size because I want to open up this folder and open up this file. Now this is my system. I want to drag any image from here into this particular area and that area is having image one element. So I'm gonna drag the B2 image. So let's drag and drop it. So you can see that we have uh, dragged an image from here and we have dropped it right here. Okay, let's uh, click on it again and drop it again. Okay, so if I uh, drag another image, so you can see it has been replaced. Let's click on it and drop it. You can see that we can uh, drop uh, any particular image and that will be overwrite to the previous image. This is how we uh, drag something from outside our application within our application. So I hope that you have got the idea how drag and drop works in UWP. Uh, it is a bit uh, uh, basic knowledge but very important knowledge for you to work with drag and drop functionality. If you like my video and tutorial make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't yet and like my video as well and comment below if you have any question. Thanks for watching.